hi so welcome to my channel so this pick a card reading today is all about your kid so this is about um, your spiritually gifted child and how you can assist help them navigate their 3d issues that they're facing right now we're going to take a deep look into that so i have three piles for you these cute little easels that my granddaughter riley had painted um and of course the middle one is not painted because um her one-year-old brother my grandson river um he was being entertained with that one <laughs> so um, of course let's look at your three options pile number one pile number two and pile number three again that is one two three so let me get this on the stand and i will show you what decks i used so the decks that i used for this reading is um the spirit song tarot the good tarot the So Purpose Oracle Cards by uh, Divine Essentials. The Fountain Tarot. And the Dreams of Gaia. Oh yes, and I also have a little inspirational card for you as the parent by the Divine Doors. So... Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started with pile number one. Okay. <laughs> so if you chose pile option number one with this easel here, let me just get this put to the side. Oh, I had a little dinosaur there. We had a birthday party today, so I am now recording after the fact. So let's put this to the side here. So this card here is going to represent your child. <clears throat> this one is meant to represent what makes your child so amazing. This is to clarify that. This card represents um, an issue they're having in the 3D world. And these cards are here to help you navigate that, to help you and to give you advice. First, let's look and see what your child okay so we have the five of acorns this is from the spirit song tarot the five of acorns says challenge and growth so your child's spirit animal is being represented as the leopard so that is that's a great energy right there so with the leopard um, representing your child's spirit, this tells me that he or she is a is an amazing problem solver. Um, your child excels when challenged. Things like brainstorming and problem solving is probably your child's superpower. Um, he can probably solve puzzles, you know, with ease um, and resolve any obstacle that's in his path. So let's look and see something that is amazing about your child. So that's represented as the number 21, the world. And it's clarified by cleanser. You release and purify emotional debris. So <laughs> um, the amazing thing about your child is how unbelievably smart he is. So the world card tells me that um, he is probably a whiz at like computers gaming technology um can probably even unlock you know at an adult level game you know computer games and programs um this child is a genius on the internet and at finding knowledge um he may also be into things like aliens the solar system or even for some of y'all Things that relate to quantum physics, amazingly. This child is so intelligent. Um, also, your child is it has this pureness about him. It's like there's no maliciousness at all. 
you know, and just kind of easily goes with the flow. I, I'm just like, I, I can't remember the character's name on Fuller House, but the energy I'm picking up is kind of like his character, that, that middle brother that's like super smart. Um, and my granddaughter watches Fuller House. And so <laughs> it, it's kind of that energy. And I don't know if you watch that or not, but I mean, I don't really watch it, but she likes to watch it when she's here. Now, um, representing an issue for your child in the 3D world, we have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands. Now, Aces has to do with new beginnings. Wands is fire energy, which is a spark. Um, but what I'm picking up um, with the Ace of Wands. Um, so, it's telling me the difficulty in this 3D world is that... Um, he's not being challenged enough. Um, his intellect is, is getting bored and restless. He needs new discoveries that will spark a passion. You know, to him, it's like, I'm getting this energy of like being in a classroom and being so bored and like acting out, you know, um, possibly getting in trouble, um, maybe not even completing their homework, not you know, they're not getting good grades for some of y'all, but it's not that he don't understand the work. It's because he's freaking bored. Because this child is like super genius. You know, he really needs new discoveries that will spark a passion. You know, this humdrum, you know, way of other kids learning just doesn't cut it with him. He's over their level and will get bored and therefore therefore you know act out to seek inspiration so let's look and see how you can help your child so we have the queen of fire and the ten of fire it's a lot of energy right there so that tells me that um you could help your child by giving your full attention to finding things that will engage and stimulate him. Activities that will expand new concepts in all levels. Because he gets really, really bored, okay? So, you know, the Queen of Fire and, and, and the Ten of Fire. This is like, look, he's got these tools in his hands, right? He has to be actively stimulated. He needs all his senses to be stimulated, all of them, and to be engaged. He has to be engaged independently, you know, that, that ability to learn on his own. So, he doesn't need you to help him, Mama. He doesn't, you know, I can kind of hear in my head, no, 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 Mama. I can do it. I got it. I got it. No, 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 no. I'm good. <laughs> um, so, allow your child to, you know, wield all these tools. You know, let him use these tools. Let him wield them at his disposal. You know, and that's in order so that way he can master them with skill and precision. Um, and, and craftsmanship. As he is motivated, he will also gain structure, order, and responsibility. So just make sure you find these activities that's going to, you know, put that spark so to speak, back into his learning, you know, the create something creative. Um, let's look at the um, advice for you, and it says, freedom flows. Don't hold yourself back from worldly freedom. Dream grand things for divine, sacred reason. I think that's basically trying to tell you to... Um, you know, let him have the freedom to learn independently from you. So that way, all his senses are stimulated. That way, he is fully engaged. You know, he's not being distracted by what you're telling him he should learn or what a teacher's telling him to learn. This is someone who might be better off homeschooled if that's not an option for you. Um, he may, you may want to look into, um, those independent schools, private schools that um, work with your child at their level. You know, it's just, you know, or maybe if that's not even an option and you have no choice but a private school, 
um, just make sure you try and help him be more engaged. So I hope that helped. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get moved on to those that picked pile option number two. Okay, those of you that chose pile option number two, this canvas is not painted, but it's been drilled on quite a bit. <laughs> Let me just set this over here to the side. And so we're going to look at your specially gifted child, okay? Your spiritually gifted. Um, we're going to see how you can help assist your child navigate any kind of 3D issues, okay? So this card I'm just going to set to the side because this is advice for you as the parent. So I'm going to have, oh, wait, wait, wait. This one's got two. Let me get me another canvas here. So these cards um, represent your child. Okay. And then this card is meant to represent, oops, trying to get this position good. This one is meant to represent um, something amazing about your child. This is to clarify it. These cards represent some issues that they're having with this navigating this 3D world. And um, these cards represent advice on how you can assist. So first, let's pull these cards here. So your spirit animal for your child is the spider and the elephant. I love these cards. I think they're just so beautiful. So the spider is actually the nine of crystals. So security, abundance, and then the number eight card, the strength card, courage and endurance. So, <laughs> I mean, wow. The spider and the elephant. So first of all, the spider. Um, the spider, you have to know, she is meticulous and patient. Um, this this child probably she's probably one of these that in her room she has a place for everything like everything goes in its spot <laughs> um she is confident and enjoys to be self-sufficient no mama i can do it you know um and as the elephant she is strong yet gentle. She is compassionate and loving. Um, she, she has faith that everything will be all right. Um, oh my God. Because I'm hearing this song in my head that um, it's kind of older. Um, oh my God. Uh, don't worry, be happy. Because I'm hearing the lyrics in my head. It's like, Here's a little song I wrote. You might want to learn it note for note. Don't worry. You know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to sing no more. <laughs> so, but every, it's like, she's like, it's going to be all right, mommy. So, um, this child, she has courage and she endures. She probably saves all her allowance um, or birthday money or something like that, but she's, it's like, I'm, I'm sensing someone who's saving for a rainy day, okay? So, let's, what makes your child so amazing? So, first we have the star card. Oh, my gosh. I love this star card, y'all. It's, it's beautiful, and it's clarified by Shaman. Your soul carries ancient wisdom teachings. Cool beans. So, um, it's like, uh, your child is like a star. You know, they're a superstar. <laughs> she is hopeful and it's like, I, I can't help it. This must be y'all I'm feeling because I'm just feeling this absolutely, my heart is just expanding and it's, you know, just so excited and so happy when I'm thinking about this child's energy, when I'm feeling it and um, just this great amount of love so it, your child 
your child's superpower is her ability to inspire, encourage others to, you know, to hope things that are seemingly impossible. Your child, she's the light in dark times. She is so radiant. It's like she's just this, oh my goodness, this beautiful, this beautiful light in the darkness. You know, everything around you can be pitch black, but then the stars start to twinkle up in the night sky, right? So, and also your child, I'm picking up, they're probably an old soul, probably maybe even a star seed, you know, from f the far reaches of the universe. Her hope and light heals even the most hardened of hearts, and she spreads her lights to those who've possibly lost theirs. So, let's look at what issues she's facing, okay? So, we have the four of coins and the moon okay so oh that's kind of heavy so the issue she's facing in this 3d world um i'm just picking up your child you know understands the worries and anxieties and stresses that she really shouldn't have to deal with she shouldn't have to worry about her this you know she should be allowed to be a child and and I feel like uh, that you try to encourage her, you know, you know, you don't have to worry about these things. Mommy's okay, you know. And it's sometimes, and, and I can say this with all honesty because um, I was married for my daughter's early years, but then we divorced, and so the re the remaining of her um, her youth, I was a single mother. And there were times I really struggled, but, um, no matter how hard I tried to, um, protect her from, uh, you know, knowing the struggles I went through and to try and encourage her to just be a kid and have fun and play, you know, she did pick up on, on those difficulties and those struggles, you know, it's no matter what you do to try and, um, keep it from your child sometimes they still just pick it up um so and it's like like when when you're worried about how you can pay the light bill or put food on the table or like with me what my issue was when um she went from having two parents that had a very nice income to having a single mom and uh, you know she would ask for things like these she wanted to go to atwoods and get like a hundred and sixty dollar pair of boots or something. I'm like, listen, I could pay all my bills. I could pay, put food on the table. But the problem was I couldn't afford those Atwood boots. And, you know, so she would pick up on that. Um, so that may resonate with you. You know, maybe struggling to pay that light bill or put food on the table. And it may be an issue like, you know, buying new shoes she needs for basketball. Or, you know, things like that. So, your child worries about mommy. You know, she doesn't want to cause any extra burden. May even be saving every penny she finds on the sidewalk. You know, and here you are thinking, oh, look, she's collecting, you know, pennies. Oh, look, it's sunny. It's, it's face side up. It's good luck, blah, blah, blah. That's not why she's picking it up. She's picking those pennies up because she wants to help mommy on those rainy days. So let's look and see the advice on um, what you can do to help navigate your child and to help your child, you know, not worry so much about adult issues. So we have the maiden, love, and ace of earth. All such beautiful cards. So... The best way for you to help your child, um, I'm picking up, is, you know, um, empower her through, like, self-discovery. And this can be done by encourage her, encouraging her self-confidence. You know, encourage her to explore and be adventurous. Um, I love the fact that this girl on this card, she looks like a little fairy maiden, right? So, 
you know, one thing you may do is encourage her to play dress up. You know, she may want to dress up in mommy's clothes, in mommy's shoes, you know. Um, but whatever you do, refrain from ridiculing the child, for it does um, give rise to doubting herself. You know, sometimes we do get, um, we, as parents, sometimes we do get frustrated and, and we don't mean to, to discourage our child, but sometimes it happens. Um, just make sure you protect her and nurture her, teach her to love herself. And that's where this love card comes in, you know, uh, teach her that, um, that she is amazing and that she's beautiful and adventurous, you know, praise her, you know, and, and help her to blossom through encouragement. One way you could do this is like, um, holding her up in front of the mirror and pointing at the mirror and be like, look, do you see that girl right there? Or do you see that boy right there? Look how amazing that person is in that mirror. Did you know how amazing that person is? Let me tell you how amazing you are. Feed your child that nourishment of encouragement by self-empowering them with confidence. Okay. And, and then when it comes to worries about adult finances, you can counteract those fears by teaching her how to budget and save. And that's where the, the ace of earth comes in. Because earth usually has to do with pinnacles, coins, anything like that in the 3D. Um, maybe you could teach her how to save her allowance. You know, by splitting up her, like if she gets, you know, a couple dollars. two Say she gets two dollars. And, um... You teach her how to save that up for um, things, you know, because we do, one of the hardest things to learn is um, the instant gratification, right? Like if we want something, we want it right then. And one of the things you can do is like separate those two dollars, have a little jar here and a little jar here. And this dollar goes in here for that toy you want for that, you know, that instant gratification, that something you want quickly. So you're going to save $1 for that. And then you're going to put the other dollar back for a long-term goal, such as college fund or something like that. Maybe a car when she gets older, whatever it is, you know, in, in your area. But um, doing this will teach her not only to keep up with balances, but this is also going to teach her responsibility. And it's going to help her release her fears regarding finances, regarding money, okay? So, now, let's look and see what, as you as a parent, something to help encourage you, okay? So, it says, passages, spiritual signs of inclination. You're walking through passages of your transformation. And I think that's just letting you know that... Um, this is just part of the journey. This is just, you know, um, it's kind of like, um, it, I don't even know how to word it. Uh, but this is just part of learning. This is part of life. And it's the issue that you're having, the, that you're wanting to navigate her through. She's going to pick it up quickly. This difficulty is just going to be a season. It's going to happen quickly. She's going to learn. She's going to pick up what you're trying to teach her. And everything's going to be all right. I'm hearing that song again. <laughs> so, um, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get moved on to those that picked pile option number three. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me, those that picked pile option number three. So, we're going to look and see what um, problems your child is facing in this 3D world and how you can help navigate your child, okay? Just a minute, let me, my mother is me just a second. 
Sorry about that. I had to do a quick little pause. Okay. So let me just set this over here to the side. Now, this card here is just a little card for um, guidance uh, for you. Just a little encouragement. This card here is going to represent your child. This is going to tell me something amazing about your child. This is just to clarify. Uh, these cards here are going to tell me something that your child is having an issue with. Um, that your child, you know, that you may need help, you know, navigating your child through. And these cards are how you can help, okay? So first we have, let's see, oh, I love giraffes. So your child is represented, their spirit's represented by the giraffe. This tells me that um, you're Oh my goodness, I'm just having this, um, I feel this energy of a child who's so, so thoughtful and wonderful and optimistic. Um, but your child doesn't see things like other children do. They have a completely different perspective. You know, the thing about a giraffe is, you know, they got that long neck. So where it's kind of like um, where, for example, during Halloween, um, when you go to the pumpkin patch, lots of times there's this, uh, like a maze made out of hay bales or, you know, some mazes are made out of, of bushes, but you know, the point is we're trying to navigate through life going through these mazes, but your child is like, they're seeing things from a higher, different perspective. So they're just, they're like optimistic. Oh, well, pfft, I ain't worried about it. I see the way I'm going to make it. I'll meet y'all at the other end, right? Um, but they have this huge thoughtfulness about them. Um, so it's not really, uh, you know, spirits remind me that they're not going to just let me know that this isn't one. I just, so I just got corrected. I hate that when that happens on camera, but <laughs> So your child is not one who's going to be like, deuces, I'm going to see you at the exit, you know, because they're not going to leave anyone behind. They'll be like, they're going to be encouraging and they're going to be like, why don't we go this way, you know, in this gentle, you know, compassionate way. So let's look and see something that makes your child super amazing. Okay. Okay. So we have the four of fire. And it's clarified by Wisdom Rider. Your words hold wisdom and light codes. Share them with the world. So, the thing about this four of fire on this card, on this deck. Now, of course, that, that's the four of wands. Four of wands. Um, that. It's. It, try and. You know, in this deck, it has to do with um, creativity because wands is a spark of energy. Um, and it has to do with um, coming together. And, you know, lots of times the four of wands has to do in the regular tarot with um, community, um, union, celebration. And with this deck, I'm looking at it. Um, it, it's like she's playing this musical flute, this musical, um, well, it looks like a flute. <laughs> and, but, and I love how it's got, you know, she's got these beautiful wings and she's got the lanterns. It's just this person learns differently is what I'm picking up. Um, possibly um, through creative measures. This child's superpower is the ability to see 
things where other people don't see it. And, and I know I already said that with the giraffe, but what I'm, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted because I'm looking at all these letters flying off the pages in Wisdom Writer. And I'm just, I'm just kind of picking up that. First off, your child is like, uh, what I'm picking up is, is a child who can see Like, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm sorry, pile number three. I'm having problems describing what I'm seeing. Um, okay, let me put it like this. Albert Einstein was known to be dyslexic. And he didn't see things like other people did. But he was so, so smart. Um, also, um, lots of times, and, and, and just bear with me, also, um, with music, for some reason, I'm combining music with mathematics in my head, so, um, for some reason, your child is just, their superpower is just genius like they're genius they may be genius like beethoven or something there's something to that effect that they're gonna make ripples and changes and you see this and you know this that their intelligence is a whole nother playing field, a whole nother level. Let's look and see what issues your child is having in this 3D world. So we have the hair front. So the hair front has to do with traditional things. Um, your child may have problems with... Um, routine they may have problems with it's kind of similar to pile one where you know you're not able to teach them like you teach other children we have the full card so this is giving me the energy of a very exuberant child you know always running 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 um <laughs> Here he is. He's just running. What's funny is I'm looking at these cards like this. Here's box. And I'm picking up this energy of this child running there like, oh, oh my gosh. What is it? What is it? What is it? You know, that's the energy I'm picking up. And then we have the five of cups. And it's like, daddy's standing there looking at the child like, oh, wait, 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 wait. You're going to get hurt. And it's dark because the parent here is like really, really, he's looking at the child. You know, this, this adult over here is not paying any attention. But this <laughs> child is just running, running, running. And this adult is like getting all stressed out and worried. And that's what I'm picking up. You know, that's not, <laughs> that's not what the five of cups means. But, you know. It's just like a spirit is having me read it like a like a, a picture if you're catching up to that. <laughs> um but this is um yeah, this is very exuberant energy. Um so your child um has issues with traditional approaches in learning. Um so that just doesn't work with him. He also may be naive when it comes to strangers, when it comes to, you know, it, it, just any kind of worldly anything. Um, because this child is so adventurous and sometimes extremely hyper. And, you know, you really worry about your child getting hurt. 
Um, so let's see how you can help your child navigate this 3D world. <laughs> so we have the Six of Earth and the Queen of Water. So the thing about the Six of Earth, so the Six of Earth is is the reason why he's got chains on is because he is in service to family and community. But it is not by any means saying you need to train your child up. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. But, however, what I'm seeing in my head, for some of you, I'm picking up that, and I don't know why I'm picking up, this isn't going to be for everybody. Your child may be on the spectrum. Now, let me explain this. This isn't, now, this does not resonate with you. Just, just leave it alone, okay? But for those of you that this does resonate with, um, the reason why I say maybe on the autism spectrum is because children with autism, let me tell you something. These are the most amazing children. They are they are, you know, just, they have sensory, they have difficulty with sensory. Um, my, my sister is a teacher and she teaches a kindergarten and first grade self-contained classroom. She, um, and her children, her students in her class are autistic. And sometimes, that's what this card reminds me of, sometimes... Um, I don't know if they do or not, but I know sometimes when, when they get overloaded, they have to have some rest and not, not be put to sleep, so to speak. But I mean, like they have to be removed from the other children so they don't hurt themselves or hurt another child because they don't have, they don't have a filter so to speak. So everything is rushing in on them at the same time. So they learn things differently than other children, but does not mean that they're not as smart as other children. I'm trying to figure out how to word this. These children are some of the most amazingly gifted children that you would ever meet. And they, they are so loving and they have huge hearts and they, they aspire at a completely different level than the average child. And, and actually I see children on the spectrum as being above average, but sometimes they have to be protected and that's how I see this card when it comes to children. So then we have the Queen of Water. The Queen of Water talks about nurturing and loving your child, being compassionate. You know, you know, always remember to stay positive for your child and continue to just to distrim, <laughs> demonstrate um, that strong, loving energy you know, that your child needs for encouragement. So do know that every single day you are assisting your child. Every single day you are your child's superhero because you know how to help your child and how to encourage your child. Your spirits tell me you already know that your child is a hero. And that hero's hero is you. So let's go ahead and look at um, your advice from Spirit. It says, <laughs> 
I'm trying not to cry because, um, like I think about my sister and how amazing she is with these kids. And, um, I've had a chance before to meet some of these kids and they are so amazing. But, um, we have divine guardian. Do not be nervous today or tonight. The path you are on will lead you just right. So you are doing exactly, exactly what you need to be doing. You don't need advice from me. You are doing an amazing job. So um, thank you so much for watching those that picked pile number three. I hope you enjoyed this. You be blessed. Bye-bye.